This month we're looking at a moody thematic riff from Radiohead's Paranoid Android. Throughout the song, the riff can be heard on acoustic and clean guitar, but for this lesson we'll focus on how Ed O'Brien and Johnny Greenwood play the aggressive, overdriven versions. First I'll break down how Ed O'Brien plays his phrases really slowly, and then I'll put them together over a slow backing track. Next I'll do the same with Johnny Greenwood's parts, and finally I'll play the whole thing up to speed. Ed's version of the riff moves between an A note on the 5th fret of the 6th string, a C note on the 3rd fret of the 5th string, and a G sharp on the 4th fret of the 6th string. He ends the phrase by holding a slow gradual bend from the 5th fret of the 5th string. Ed predominantly uses downstrokes but usually throws in an upstroke on the 3rd note of the sequence to maintain the flow of the phrase. <laughs> For this TG lesson, we'll play Ed's riff three and a half times. Johnny plays the riff an octave higher and uses the 12th fret of the 5th string, the 10th fret of the 4th string and the 11th fret of the 5th string. Often Johnny will end by bending a D note on the 12th fret of the 4th string, followed by a slide from the 17th fret to the 12th. He uses a kill switch to make the bend stutter, but we can create a similar effect by touching the side of the string with the pick to kill the sustain. Johnny leans towards alternate picking for this riff and plays the notes on the downbeat or the end of a beat with a downstroke and the notes on the second and fourth sixteenth of the beat with an upstroke. <laughs> For this lesson, Johnny's riff is played during the second and third cycle of the phrase and ends by playing the first half of the riff. Finally, here's how it sounds up to speed. Mm -hmm. 